What's up guys? As you saw by the title of this video, this is going to be an informative video, me giving you my tips and my mental cues that go through my head when I'm squatting. Here is a picture of all my mental cues. I posted on Instagram the other day. It was very helpful to a lot of people. Got a lot of a lot of DMs saying thank you for the that post. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play some uh, footage of me and Sonia squatting, and I'm gonna talk you guys through the squat. I'm gonna talk you through all my mental cues, go over it, and hopefully that'll help you with your squat form. All right, so as I unrack the weight, the first thing I'm gonna think of is the correct bar placement on my traps. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna get my elbows under my hands, I'm gonna focus on having my, my elbows in line, parallel with my body. As you can see right there, it's not flaring out or, or too much in. It, it's in line with my my body, it's parallel to my body. Uh, the other thing is my neck positioning. I, I found that cueing myself to look down about two to three feet in front of me keeps my neck in a neutral position. You don't want it hyperextended up like this. You want it not too, too tucked like this, but you want it neutral. And, and I was going through that that cue with Sonia. It, it was tough for her to reprogram that, but it, it got a lot better. She was a lot more hyperextended um, in the beginning. Okay, another thing is chest up. I keep my chest up and that helps me stay upright. And then I cue myself to transfer the weight. I imagine transferring the weight to my midfoot to heel, right in the middle, like a, a nice spot in between my, my heel and my midfoot. Also, before I descend, my hips are forward, my glutes are, are, are tight, and I'm, I'm pretty much stacked under the bar. So the weight is underneath my, I'm stacked underneath the bar, a lot more a lot more stability. And then breathing. Make sure you are taking a deep breath, filling up your core area and keeping tight all the way through the movement. So you take a breath before you descend and then you let go of that breath at the top as, as after you complete the rep. Here was a pretty, it was a pretty brutal day for, for, for us. I, I did three sets of eight with 315. I can't remember the percentage, but Sonia did a good amount of weight too. I think 225 actually. So remember those cues guys. Again, here's that picture right here. So just remember neutral neck, shoulder blades back to lock your, 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 your position and keep that stability. Uh, focus on your breathing. Uh, chest up and then imagine transferring a weight to your midfoot in between your midfoot and your heel those are all the mental cues that I use I, I think there's there's so many mental cues out there that you can you can use it, it's just a matter of finding the, the, the mental cues that work best for you that make your, your form click okay because you'll have those days where your, your form is just like it's easy, right? And, and that's just due to your mental cues being on point. Here, yeah, this set was brutal. I think seven, I think I got one more. And keep in mind as your form, as you get deeper into a set and it gets more difficult, your, fo your form is gonna break down and your mental cues are gonna be harder to, to deliver. So just take your time, stay composed, focus on your technique, and remember the mental cues that work best for you. Slow it down. Here, we finished off with some uh, pause reps just to reinforce our technique. So I'll let this video play raw for the rest of it. 
thanks for watching this video. Hopefully, hopefully you took something from it. Hopefully my mental cues helped you. Let me know, comment below.